Hi guys, it's Lisa from Salty Lashes. I am here today to show you how to make my famous, or at least in my family, that's what we think it's famous, um, air popped popcorn. So to start, you need an air popper. This is my personal favorite. I've tried a few and this Cuisinart is my all time favorite. And you can find the link for that below the post. And let me give you a little backstory. My mom, I think is the queen of air popped popcorn. We used to have it every Sunday night. Um, we'd go to church and then my mom would make dinner and then around six or seven, my mom would always pop popcorn. And this is where I learned a few of the tips and the tricks to making the perfect air popped popcorn. So, here's your popper. My favorite are the Trader Joe's organic popping corn. Um, I have read that organic kernels can actually be digested through your system much more efficiently than a traditional kernel. So make sure you're buying organic corn. Second, I buy the organic salted, unsalted butter. You don't need the salted because you're gonna add salt to it anyway. Okay, so turn. I'm gonna turn it on. I typically turn it on and let it sit on for like 15, 20 seconds just for the popper to warm up and then I will add my kernels. I don't measure, I eyeball it. Read the directions on the package if you do not want to eyeball it and it'll tell you exactly how much to do. Typically, I do not turn my popper off. Um, I let it just keep warming up and then I add more kernels to it because I like to get it done a little bit faster. But for the sake of you being able to hear me, I'm gonna turn it off in between. So this is how much that made. I'm going to add more kernels because I like mine completely full. And what I did, I melted one whole stick of butter. You heard me correctly, a whole stick of butter. You do not have to use this much butter. Um, I'm not gonna judge you if you do, because that's what we do. And that's funny, because Arielle's right here behind the camera, and I just said, oh, doesn't it smell so good? She can't smell it. How can you not smell popcorn kernels? It smells like the fajitas. Well, I guess we have been cooking a lot in the kitchen today, so there's probably there's fajita scent, salmon scent, salad, and lots going on. So, here is the trick, okay? I melt a one stick of butter in my measuring cup. My microwave melts it perfectly at a minute, 10 seconds. So you're gonna start and slowly I go counterclockwise and work my way in, starting on the outside, okay? I can smell it now. You can smell it? <laughs> Good. And then I salt. Okay, besides the butter drizzle counterclockwise, the next, hold your hands, both sides of the bowl and shake, okay? And then I'll do another drizzle. Sometimes it goes zigzag too. Okay, repeat. And I'll usually just repeat it two or three times. I think that's good though. And then I'm gonna add more kernels. I'm gonna fill it up and then I'll show you when it's done. Sometimes I get a little overzealous putting my kernels in. Um, this is about as full as you want it in order to shake it properly. So stir up my butter a little bit. This is a 32 cup Tupperware bowl. It's pretty big. Our whole family will eat this bowl in an hour probably. But 
Everyone has a popcorn fan around here. I don't think Jeff was like super into popcorn before we got married. But now, at night, it'll be 10 o'clock at night and we're sitting down to watch something and he'll always be like, oh wait, are you feeling like popcorn? Is that what you wanted? Because he wants me to get up and make him popcorn. Another thing you can do, I've added the Trader Joe's chili lime seasoning to ours. It's really good. I also like mixing um, like Kraft Parmesan cheese with Lowry seasoning salt. And I'll do like a two to one, three to one, two to one ratio of Parmesan to Lowry's. It's really, really good. And you just sprinkle it on. My children are home. Okay, let me just. Okay, so Avery just got home from school. She's currently Getting bending down, <laughs> bending down, picking popcorn up, uh, popcorn up off the ground. I didn't even ask her to. She just bent down and started doing it. Well, clearly we were gonna clean it up. Okay, so that's it for your popcorn. It's all done. And my tips for the popcorn, this is the real tip. Get a good popper, because some of the AirPop poppers suck. This is such a good one. So have a good popper. Use organic kernels, sea salt, organic unsalted butter, have your measuring cup, and then counter clock, circular motion drizzle, or you can go zigzag. And then remember, hands on both sides, and shake and toss. And that's it, super easy. Avery, what do you think of it? Can I just also say that I've had Poppy's friends have said for their birthday, this is what they want me to make them. That's what they want me to make, popcorn. That's true. We're getting everyone hooked on popcorn around here. So give it a try, let me know how it goes, send me your videos, because I want to see you guys making your best version of the AirPop popcorn.